Hello, thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you to TEDx San Antonio. Um, it's very great to, to be here with you. I'm coming from Mexico, from a city called Tampico. Uh, my passions, as you can see on, on, the, on the brochure, my passions is my city. I love my city and, and my family. Uh, I'm going to talk with you about uh, a, a situation that we are living in in our country and what we are trying to do to to solve this this situation but I want to ask you first a question how many of you have have you ever feel the the scare sensation of hearing gunshots not with pistols but with guns like AK-47 or something like that, grenades and everything, some of you. Okay, you will understand me. I hope everybody uh, of you understand my English. I tried to do my best, but you will understand what, what I will try to, to tell you. Um, three and a half years ago, I got married. Three, like three years ago, I was with my wife at, at home, ready to go to sleep. A little bit early, it was like 8.39 in, at night. But we started to hear some gunshots, very, very hard gunshots. They were like a block away from our house. I grabbed her and I took her to the, to the closet, to the dressing room. And I told, I told her, be patient and, and let's, let's um, wait until, until the gunshots stop. We, we had to be there for about an hour. After that, we went to, to sleep. We couldn't realize what happened. At the next day, at the next morning, I was looking at the, at the news, at the newspapers, that they were six teenagers shooting to the army forces for an hour. Six teenagers, they were like from 16 years old to 20 years old. And they were fighting for an hour against the, the army forces from, from Mexico. At that time, I realized that that, that, that is not the city that, that I want to live. That is not the city where I want to grow up my, my, my family, where I want to live. So we started to, to think what we can do to, to solve this situation. We, we cannot go and grab an arm and, and fight against those people. That's army's business, and, and I'm not, I don't like the, the, to, to, to fight with, with a gun. I, I like to fight with, with some actions. So we start to think what to do. We, we notice that uh, a good, a positive way to solve this situation is, is in, in sports. I, I love sports, and, and sports is a very, very healthy and a very positive example for, for kids and teenagers to grow as a person because with sports, you can get um, in principles, values, like, for example, the teamwork, the respect for another, and a lot of more things that people that right now I I is in the, in the streets, they, they, they don't know what, what a value or a principle is. They know what is a drug, what is an addiction. So we start to think what to do. And uh, in our city, uh, in our city, in the, in the slide that was behind the, in this one, in our city, uh, we live uh, in a city that is uh, a million people. And we, don't have any, we didn't have any professional uh, team in, in sports, neither soccer, neither basketball, neither baseball, anything. So we decided to bring uh, to, gather, to gather some friends and to bring a professional uh, basketball team from the national, na national 
uh, league. So we thought about bringing that team, but in a very different way or, or with a very different philosophy than the other teams of the league. We try to think the things in another way. We try not, not to bring the team to win a championship, but to bring the team to, to solve a, a big, big issue, a big violence issue, an obesity issue that I will tell you in, in a while that is, is present in, in, in our city. We, we know that at school, they, they teach us that we had to, in marketing, we had to go and ask the, the customers or the people what, what they need so we can do what they, they need. But that's not a rule. We know also that, for example, Henry Ford, if Henry Ford Went, uh, was going to ask to the customers what do they need, the customers will tell him, we need, we need faster horses. <laughs> and he didn't, he didn't went to, 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 to do faster horses, but to do what we know right now, that is uh, cars. So we start to think about bringing this, this team to focus on social, responsible, not on championships. The championship, championships are very good because that way you can get more fans that can go through your philosophy. But our, our focus is on helping kids and helping teenagers to be better persons in the, the complete way of, uh, in a very complete, uh, uh, way of, of being persons, not only physically, but also mentally, spiritually, and what, what makes you a, a real person. So we have two, two big issues in, in Mexico. Mexico is the first, uh, uh, the first country in the world with the worst index of child obesity. Well, at least we are in first place on something. So, <laughs> so, but that's not something to be proud. So, so it's a big, very big issue. And the the area in, in green is the state where is our city, and the the spot in in red is the city where we live. Tamaulipas, the state, is a, is the region or the state with the worst in index of child obesity in Mexico. And Tampico is the, the region with the worst index of child obesity in the state. So if you look backwards, we are the, the, the region in the world with the worst index of child obesity. And also, we are having a very, as I told you, a very, a very uh, difficult time with, with violence. So we, we try this idea of bringing a, a basketball team, a professional team, focus on, on social responsible, uh, responsible, was focused on creating good people, creating people with principles, values, that takes care of, of their people in the, in the city, and not problems, health problems with, with our kids that will bring very costly diseases like diabetes, hypertension, or things, uh, uh, heart diseases, or something like that. And what I told you about the violence. Person uh, personally, I work in a, in a family business. It's a chain of gas stations. And whenever I go and, and knock doors from other friends to join to this, this big effort, I told them, thinking like personally, not, not, not very uh, in a popular ways, I mean personally, if we join this effort, it will be good in several years, years for us, for our family, for our business, for our city. Why? Because if we work on these kids right now, these kids and these teenagers, in several years, they will be good persons. And we want good persons that come, for example, for the gas stations, and ask me for gas, gasoline, 
and pay me the gasoline. And I don't want these teens or these teenagers to come to the gas station with a gun and, and, and telling me, give me the money, give me the gas station, or I will kidnap you. So this is the, the, the reason why, why we are working very hard on this, on this effort. As I told you, we have very clear our philosophy on the team. And the, and the philosophy is not to get a championship. It's to promote the sports or the exercise on teens and kids. So we can get three important things. Good health on, on our new generations. Bas basically, child obesity. Also, to motivate the education to get very, very persons with principles and values. And something very important, the union of the families. A society that has very, very uh, a hard union in, on their families is a so society that will, will be going better and better every time. So that's our philosophy. The things that we're doing right now focus on those three issues. For example, here are some pictures of the, the activities that we do. We go with the kids, we, we introduce them to, to, the, to make exercise, we give them the, give them the tools. We, we have a school for uh, people with uh, low incomes or people that cannot pay uh, a private school, and we encourage them to, to do exercises. Uh, we go to every public and private school. We go to four schools uh, 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 every week with uh, our players. The players go and, and, and play with the, with the kids, uh, have pictures with them, uh, uh, they sign the, the, the shirts and everything. But they talk about two main issues, about the importance of making exercise and about the importance of eat well. It, uh, uh, nutrition in a nutri nutritional way. Uh, we encourage also kids to, to go and help to the needed people, to, to old people, to people that need uh, uh, something to eat, for example. There is a, there is a picture of, of the things that all the, all the kids join food. For, for example, last year there, there was a hurricane at Tampico, and they gather some uh, things for, th for the poor, poor people. Also, uh, there is a, uh, we, we make some conferences, for example, for obesity, for uh, breast cancer, for, for a lot of uh, osteoporosis and, and a lot of health issues. And we gather efforts so we can get the place for free, where we get the, the the conferences, we get the marketing for free, we get the studies and medicines for free too. So it's a, a, a synergy of e efforts that, can, um, that let us make this, this, this big effort. Uh, there is, a, there is a, a big Mexican effort in, uh, from a great organization that it is called Teleton. I don't know if somebody of you care about this, this effort in Mexico. It's a, some spe uh, special uh, uh, places for kids to, to uh, kids that doesn't have, um, like, they don't have, like, uh, mentally um, uh, health or, or maybe they are disabled, the special needs. And we, we take the, the team to, to talk with them. But our coach, our trainer, is, is a, he was a player in Ar Argentina. Uh, uh, he was riding and, and he had a car accident. The car came over uh, his feet. He couldn't uh, walk again. He's on a wheelchair. And whenever we, we go with them, he talks about them, about if he, ha he has no legs, but he has wings. He can do whatever he wants, whatever his passion is. So uh, uh, he talks with the kids, at, and the next day, the game day, we take the kids to the court, and they see this coach 
yelling and, and moving the great, gr the big, big players, and these players are doing what, what he, he's, he's, asking, uh, he's asking to them, so, so it's a very good example for them. Uh, a month ago, we, we just received an invitation from, from a great, great institution, Barcelona, uh, to go and play with them. Barcelona was our example of making the, uh, the good things in, in a basketball team. And what was our surprise a month ago that they invited us to play. We didn't know why. When we arrived over there, they explained us that they were, were searching about the teams and they, they really like what we are doing in our society, so that's why they invited us. We had great experience over there. Um, we uh, don't ask me about the score, don't <laughs> <laughs> because, um, well, actually, we got a trophy when we went <laughs> to, to the check-in booth at, at the airport. The lady told me, oh, congratulations, you win a, uh, won a championship. And I told her, no, 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 I, we just got second place, but that's okay. <laughs> so, but we, we, we returned very, very happy from, from that trip, we learn a lot, and that's, that's a very good thing for us. Now, I, I want to finish telling you something. The best remembers that I have uh, from my childhood with my family, with my dad and my mom, is uh, when we went together to the soccer uh, football games. There were not too many games, just a few games, but those are the, the greatest moments in my childhood with, the, with them. How we prepared to go to the game with the shirts, how we arrived to the, to, the, to the stadium, how we see the field, how we yell, and after that, how we went to, to take dinner and every, everybody come, coming from the, from the game. It was amazing. Those are the best remembers that I have from, from my childhood. Our dream is coming coming through. Now we can see those images in Tampico with those kids, with their parents enjoying the, those games. We know that sometime those kids will grow and they will remember those, those times with their parents and, and they will make something for their so society. So let's, let's dream. Let's have these kind of dreams for our society. Let's work together for them and let's slam dunk. Thank you so much, and <laughs> hope you can visit Tampico, Mexico.